Hi there! Recently, huge cracks have increasingly appeared on the surface of the Earth. Sometimes they are harbingers of a volcanic eruption, and sometimes the nature of their appearance is simply incomprehensible to scientists. Something strange is happening with our planet, and it is extremely important for humanity to figure out what it is. A huge crack in the ground suddenly appeared in the southwestern part of Kenya. And it might be the first sign that Africa will split over time into two continents. At least this version exists as some scientists. The scale gap in some places reaches 15 meters in depth and 20 meters in width. Its length is several kilometers. The faults in this area are becoming more massive since the two tectonic plates, the Somali and the Nubian, are moving far away from each other. 138 million years ago, as a result of a similar rift, one continent was divided into two parts. Africa and South America appeared to previously be one continent. This is evident by the coincidence of their coastlines. The new crack is relatively young, but it is increasing at a rate of up to 5 centimeters per year. This is a fairly fast pace, since the rift that divided Africa from South America moved at a speed of up to 7 millimeters per year. Families living nearby begin to evacuate, fearing for their safety. In Uganda, a crack has passed through apartment buildings, bridges, and roads. Three houses were completely destroyed. In the summer of 2018 in Mexico City, part of the street and several houses collapsed into an earth-wide crack. In the Millpills area, the northern part of the street is completely underground. The rift slowly continues to expand its boundaries and destroyed railways. The locals who lost their homes were transferred to temporary shelter. The reasons for the formation of such a large and extensive fault right in the middle of the city, scientists have not yet figured out. But fear at any moment, failure may occur at any other point. Experts believe that a catastrophe is inevitable and insist that all residents of this region should be evacuated. What is the cause of the cracks in the ground? One of the theories is the process associated with heavy rainfall. But having considered the theory of occurrences of cracks, for example in Kenya, it can be argued that this happens regardless of precipitation. Most likely the cause of geological processes that are currently insufficiently studied. So far, experts cannot influence or at least predict the development of these processes. As a result of large-scale landslide in Gisborne, New Zealand, a crack was formed, within which a new lake appeared. Where there used to be a beach covered with grass, now there is a vertical wall of debris and dirt. The landslide occurred suddenly. 3,000 cubic meters of rock and earth moved down the slope. Scientists have called it a significant national event. The cause of the event, which resulted in the displacement of 12 million tons of rock, remains unknown. Another giant crust of Earth's crust originated in New Zealand. The crack appeared right in the middle of the field of one of the farmers of the northern island. Rainwater gradually eroded the underground limestone, which as a result provoked a huge failure. At least some assumptions are being made by experts. It happened in early May near the city of Rotorua. As a result, rocks were discovered whose age reaches 60,000 years. This crack depth of 20 meters and length of 200 meters has become the largest ravine in New Zealand. The rains have eroded the ground over the centuries. Enormous voids were formed, but the precipitation was provoked by prolonged downpour that did not stop for 38 hours. The amount of precipitation during this time reached a critical indicator, 170 millimeters. We can only assume where in the world there are still such voids and where another downpour can cause a failure of this magnitude. Anak Krakatawa literally means the child Krakatawa. This volcano got its name deservedly since it was actually created by the Indonesian volcano Krakatawa, known for its powerful eruption in 1883. This cataclysm made the whole planet shudder. As a result of the eruption of Krakatawa, the island of the same name was completely destroyed. At the beginning of the 20th century, the volcano again entered the active phase, triggering the emergence of Anak Krakatawa. The new volcano, although considerably smaller, can be very dangerous in the event of an eruption. And on July 19th of this year, this relatively young volcano became more active. At the beginning, cracks began to form around him, and then, 
from his crater, pillars of ash begin to be thrown at heights of hundreds of meters. So far, Anik Krakatawa has not caused any harm, but at any moment, he can go into a more active phase and any consequences will then be unknown to anyone. Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii is often the cause of strong earthquakes. As a result of his activity, a huge crack formed under one of the residential buildings. Lava flows out of faults away from the volcano. Its streams destroyed more than 80 buildings and swallowed more territory than Manhattan. Hazard for local residents in such cases is also toxic gases that accumulate in the air, namely increases in the level of sulfur dioxide. According to media reports, about 2,000 people were forced to leave their homes. Scientists have warned that underground pressure is rising and that there is a threat of a powerful eruption. It was not long in coming. Beginning in May of this year, the Kilauea eruption has not subsided for quite some time. Despite this, some residents who had previously been evacuated, officials have already allowed to return to their homes, but many have nowhere to return to. In June, the volcano completely destroyed about 600 homes. The tourist area of the Big Island was almost completely destroyed. Lava flows flow into the ocean. While the influx of magma to the vent persists, the eruption does not come. The red-hot mass will fill up all around. If Kilauea finally stops erupting, it can cool for weeks. When it is cool enough, it can be cleaned off the roads with a bulldozer. The state allocated $12 million to help the island. Fortunately, in the tropical climate of Hawaii, nature is recovering quickly and it can be hoped that the vegetation on the scorched earth will appear within a few months. But for this to happen, Kilauea has to fall asleep again. Specialists have long had great concern for volcanoes in Yellowstone National Park in the United States. Caldera is the largest volcano in the world. For 600,000 years, the volcano has not erupted, but experts say that it is about to go into the active phase. The fact is that cracks begin to form around the volcano, and this indicates seismic activity in the bowels of the Earth. In the middle of the park, a huge crack with boiling magma was already discovered. Yellowstone Park is located in the northwestern United States, and in the event of an eruption, two-thirds of the country will be wiped out. It will happen sooner or later. The volcano may begin to erupt at any time. Part of the territory is already closed to visitors, but no one knows what effective measures can be taken to prevent a catastrophe. At the moment, it is safe to say that the American population lives next to a time bomb. A terrible tragedy occurred in July of this year in the state of Uttarakhand in northern India. As a result of heavy torrential rains, cracks begin to form in the mountains. At one moment, there was a terrible landslide, as a result of which the national highway was blocked. Local authorities took emergency steps to clear the rubble and reopen the roads. The chief minister of the state canceled his vacation in order to eliminate the terrible consequences of a landslide as soon as possible. Indian Air Force, Navy, and Army joined the rescue work. They managed to smuggle thousands of people to safety. Two million people in Guatemala suffered from the eruption of the volcano Fuego. Many lost their homes, dozens of people died, more than 300 people were seriously injured, and places to take all who need help is simply not enough, and all rescue services work in emergency mode. The street and houses are covered with ash and dirt. Many people experience breathing problems due to a volcanic eruption. The ground was covered with cracks as a result of which many buildings were destroyed. About 3,000 local residents had to be evacuated from the disaster site. These events took place in just the last few months, so we have good reason for concern. Our world is changing, and this process is only gaining momentum. We are left with only one thing, to forget all past feuds and quarrels in order to unite and help each other overcome the impending difficulties. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.